The Calvin and Doris Hammonds Memorial Camp Meeting will be coming back to Huntington, West Virginia, September 6th and 7th at 7 p.m. Calvin Ray Evans and Brian Bear invite you to join them at the Christ Temple Church. They'll welcome the McCameys on Thursday and the Primitives on Friday. Christ Temple Church is located at 2400 Johnstown Road, right off I-64 in Huntington. Admission is free. Contact Evangelistic Outreach, 800-767-8713 or visit calvinevans.org. Welcome to Evangelistic Outreach Ministries. The fields are white, already to harvest. For over half a century, the Evangelistic Outreach team has traveled across the street, about the nation, and around the world with the gospel message. We're dedicated to the vision of our late founder, Dr. Calvin Evans, to reach the unreached for Jesus Christ. May the love of Christ touch you, and may His Word teach you, today on Evangelistic Outreach. Well, we thank you again for taking the time to join us today on Evangelistic Outreach Ministries. Today on the program, we're going to be sharing with you the final part of the message from Calvin Ray Evans, Treasures in Earthen Vessels. It's a part of this month's free gift offer, as well as another tremendous message that we'll tell you more about here in just a little bit. We'll also give you information about how you can receive this month's free gift offer. And then also a very special meeting in near Columbus, Ohio as well this week. So please join us in prayers. We ask God's blessings over the broadcast today. Father, we love you and we thank you for all that you do for us. Uh, Lord, we don't want to sound like a broken record, but we just, um, we're just amazed at how you continually uh, bless us uh, with so many friends that pray for us. Uh, even yet today, as we were uh, at a visitation for a funeral, Calvin Ray and myself, we had folks come up to us and say they watch the program every week. And some even say they watch us three times on Sunday. And Lord, it's just so humbling uh, to meet people like that. To know that people pray for us uh, means so much. And Lord, I pray that you would bless those today that are watching. Uh, those that um, can't, maybe can't get out to church just because they're physically unable. I ask that you would uh, just physically help them today, give them strength and peace. And Lord, uh, most of all, if there will be someone watching today that doesn't know you as their personal Savior, I pray that today would be the day that they realize that they need you in their life and they will say yes to you and turn their life over to you. Lord, we know time is running out. We can see the signs all around us. We want to be ready when you call. So Lord, please bless us today and we'll praise you for it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we hope this song's a blessing to you today. Things of earth no longer matter on that morning when the skies are split and saints are called away. But most of all, I want to be among that number The bride of Christ Set apart in white array And most of all I want to look upon the Master Sing praises when at last the battle's won. I want to know I run the race. Hear Jesus say I've kept the faith. And most of all, I want to hear him say, Well done. Everything down here. And lose its value when compared to all the glory we're gonna behold but most of all just to look upon the master we'll make it heaven if there were no streets of gold most of all, 
Last week was a busy but blessed week as we were traveling to Marion, Ohio and also to South Amherst, Ohio. And this week I'll be going to uh, the Rosedale Free Will Baptist Church for their annual summer revival. I'll be there this Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. with Pastor Jason Mead and all the wonderful folks. We're looking for a great time in the Lord. Our dear friend Jeff Dickens will be singing on Tuesday evening. He's from the Columbus, Ohio area. Uh, the Rosedale Free Will Baptist Church is located in the northwest part, uh, just outside of Columbus in Irwin, Ohio, on Rosedale Milford Road. Uh, if you need more information or directions, please feel free to contact us. A tremendous church, Jason Mead is a tremendous man of God, a wonderful preacher that loves the Lord, loves his people, and this church has just been booming and exploding, and we're excited to be there with, with our dear friends, Edwin Hayes, Mike Blanton, and John Mead. And I'll just be, and Freddie Dutton as well, and I'll be looking forward to being there on Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. Uh, for the uh, revival at the Rosedale Free Will Baptist Church. Again, if you need more information or directions, please feel free to contact us this week. I'll give you the information here in just a little bit, but let me tell you about this much free gift offer. We're sharing with you today the remainder of the treasure from earth and vessels, and that's what we're calling this much free gift offer. Two messages from Calvin Ray Evans, one from the Smoky Mountain Camp Meeting, the one you'll see today, and then also another from the Spring Jubilee, entitled, They Got Everything They Want, But They Lost All That They Had. Two timely messages that I know will encourage you and also challenge you uh, to draw closer to Jesus Christ. So please contact us this week and uh, let us know which format you prefer on DVD or audio CD and we'll get it right out to you. Our toll free number is 1-800-767-8713. You can also write to us at Calvin Evans, 299 Ohio Avenue, New Boston, Ohio, 45662. Or one of the easiest ways to do uh, to make your orders and also find out more information about our meetings, just go to our website at calvinevans.org. And may, may you mark on your calendars right now the Calvin and Doris Evans Memorial Camp Meeting coming up in less than a month, September the 6th and the 7th at the uh, Christ Temple Church in Huntington, West Virginia. We're looking forward to being back there with the Primitives and the McCameys. Service time will be 7 p.m. Of course, we've been sharing with you information about it, but we'll give you more details in weeks to come. But please write it down now. They're the Thursday and Friday after Labor Day uh, in September at the Calvin and Doris Evans Memorial Camp. It's going to be one of the best yet, and we want you to be there with us. Pray. Would you pray today about maybe supporting the Calvin and Doris Evans Memorial Camp meeting? We'd love to go into that meeting and not have to take an offering. We know it's an offense to the unsaved. We'd love to just be able to come in and worship. And we know that uh, if you pray today, maybe ask God to, uh, what you could do to help with this meeting and maybe even supporting this ministry. If you haven't uh, maybe been watching for years and haven't sent in a gift to help, uh, we would really appreciate that. The work of the Lord is going on all across this country. We're glad to be a small part of that. And if you want to help us to reach the unreached for Jesus Christ, we need to hear from you this week. Again, our address is 299 Ohio Avenue, New Boston, Ohio, 45662. Well, let's go right back into the message, Treasure from Earth and Vessels. for the delivering power of God. I believe he has power over drugs. I believe he has power over the devil. I believe he has power over alcohol. I believe he has power over every addiction. I believe he has power over sin. I believe he has power over the grave. I think he has come to set the captive free. The weakness of the vessel. Now hold on, here we go but the wealth of the treasure. 
He talks about the treasure in earthen vessels. In other words, the wealth is not the vessel. The wealth is what's in the vessel. <laughs> I, when I did a study on this, I absolutely had a fit because I had never really, I, I, I do in-depth studies on different things, but this is just a simple explanation of it. If you look up the word treasure, what the word treasure means, the Greek word in this particular passage, the word treasure, when it is combined with earthen vessels, it signified one thing to the Jews and they knew what it was. The word treasure means casket. Anytime you see the word treasure com combined with an earthen vessel, he's saying, really, when you look at a casket, I wish you'd help me preach. When you look at a casket, it's not the casket that's valuable. It's what's in the casket. The treasure is not in what the vessel is. The treasure is what's inside the vessel. Several years ago, Roger Duncan made a trip up to our place there at Rubyville, preached the funeral of my daddy. He had a, a metal casket, Ron, and we took that metal casket out to Highland Memorial Gardens, and Roger had a committal service. Now that casket had no real value within it, but oh, what was inside. Yeah. And there we planted that casket. 15 months later, Roger made the trip back up again and my precious mother went to be with the Lord. We picked out a wooden casket for her. Now that wooden casket didn't have any value as far as we were concerned. It's what was in the casket. Wasn't long after that till we got a call. I was preaching a homecoming meeting for Mike Blanton and we got a call as soon as I got out of church. They were going to eat and I said, I don't know why. I feel, I just feel overwhelmed, I gotta get home. It was our wedding anniversary and I was off preaching a, a meeting there for Mike and I said, I've gotta get home, the, the only service there. I headed back down the highway. As I'm driving down, we get a call. My father-in-law went to be with the Lord. We made a trip back up this side of, of Hillsboro, Ohio and there we went over to Elmville, Ohio, just east of Hillsboro and there we took a casket and they took that casket and lowered it down in Duncan Ridge Cemetery. But that casket had no value to us. But I'm here to tell you, there is a treasure inside that casket. Just last year, my sister was right here worshiping with my other sisters who are here tonight. We had no idea she was getting ready to suddenly go home to be with God. And we carried her casket to Ashland, Kentucky. And there buried that casket. But that casket is not what's valuable. Can I tell you the thing that is of greatest value is not what holds it, but it's what's inside of it. Oh, I'm about to have a spell. I'm here to tell you, don't look at the outside of this preacher. What's valuable is not what's on the outside. It's what's on the inside. Inside, this is a casket. It's doomed for death. It's doomed to be buried. But thank God there is a treasure down in inside of me, Christ liveth in me. The greatest treasure in all this world is inside of us tonight. I don't know how long I have. I'll preach as hard as I can, as long as I can. But when they take me out to a hillside and plant me, I'm probably like most of you. I watched the funeral of Billy Graham and it was amazing. They buried him in a $200 casket. <laughs> Built by prisoners. <laughs> 
the man responsible. I read a little quote from his son Franklin and he said the man, they told him the man, one of the main men that built that casket. He said it's just a simple casket for a simple man that preached a simple gospel. I'm here to tell you it don't matter what you put me in when I'm gone because what's valuable is not what's in the the box itself. It's what's in the box. That's what matters. It's not who you are or what you've done. It's who is in you tonight. That's what makes the difference. There's a little bird called a guillemot. A guillemot is an arctic seabird. It's a pigeon. A seabird that's a pigeon. And they lay their eggs in certain parts of the world, especially here in our country, they lay them where the rock cliffs come in against the land and they're steep cliffs and they've got ledges so the guillemot can't build a nest. The guillemots have to lay their eggs on a ledge beside each other. Usually a mother lays two eggs. So the guillemot, they have to come right beside each other. They'll have ledges long, long as what this pulpit area this platform is and the mother will have her place she'll go there and she'll lay her egg she'll fly away come back now here's a line of eggs as long as this platform and they all look exactly alike but the mother knows she comes and always comes right to her eggs they got intrigued with this so the scientists thought let's check this out so they took the eggs while the mother was gone and moved the eggs. The mother came flying in, looked at her spot, and didn't see the eggs. So first thing she did, she scanned up and down the line till she found her egg, picked it up, brought it right back. Put it where it belonged. The next day, they'd take that egg and they'd move it somewhere else. They'd lay it down. That mother would fly in, look up and down, get her egg, look just like all the others. She'd take it back over and lay it right back where it belonged. They studied and studied and studied and studied that. And then finally they came up with a conclusion. How did she know which egg was hers? They all looked alike, same color, same shape. Hundreds of these birds, thousands of these birds laying these eggs and this is the conclusion they came up with. They said the only thing we can tell you, that mother knows since she laid that egg, she knows which egg has her life in that egg. So she knows which one to go to and which one to get. Oh, I feel preaching coming on. I go out in the cemetery and I'll see line after line after line, but I'm here to tell you the Lord knows every one of those graves. And one day when he comes again, he'll say, Holy Spirit, search through graveyards, take everything that's mine. And the Holy Spirit will say, that one's got my life and that one's that one's got my life, and that one's got my life, and that one's got my life. He goes through this place tonight, through every single row of these seats, and he says, you've got my life, and you've got my life, and you say, what happens if we get out of place? Thank God, he picks us up, brings us right back to where we belong, and sets us right back down again. There is nobody that can do that for you except Jesus. The weakness of the vessel, the worth of the treasure, and the wonder of the power. Well, what's the wonder? It's of God. First point. Second point. It's not of us. It's of God, it's not of us. And here's the most amazing thing of all, it's in earthen vessels. Hear me, God doesn't love me anymore than he loves you. 
and God doesn't love you more than he does your neighbor on the other side. God loves each one of us. And the truth of the matter is, he'll come in and abide with us. He'll sup with us. He'll go home to dinner with you. He'll change your life. He'll turn your life around. And here's the mystery of the ages, the wonder of it all. Who are we? That God, the God that created this heaven and earth, the God that's responsible for this beautiful world, the God that rolled out the green grass like carpet and tacked it down with daisies, the God that scooped up the mountains and with the swipe of his hand, he made the oceans. With the breath of his nostrils, he carved out the rivers. That same God that took every star and flung it into space and named them all. That same God that conquered death, hell, and the grave. Who am I that he would come to dwell inside of an earthen vessel? But thank God he is in us. He is with us. He is for us. He is by us. He will not forsake us. He will not fail us. The wonder of his power. Oh, the wonder of his power. Hey, that's what's missing in churches. Not being cruel. The power of God. And people that appreciate who we are and why God would dwell with us. The wonder of his power. Preacher, do you really think you are good enough to preach by yourself? Singer, do you really think you are that talented that God said just because you got talent, I'm gonna use you? Christian worker, do you really think that you've done all this by yourself. <laughs> the wonder of it all, that he, the king of glory, would come inside of us, and live with us, wake us up in the middle of the night, and say, don't worry about tomorrow. I've got it in my hand. I hold tomorrow and a whole next week and a whole next year. I'll be with you always and I'll never leave you and I'll never forsake you. The wonder of his power. The wonder of his power to take a wayward sinner that'll come on bended knee and repent their sins and confess that Jesus is Lord and have their life converted. Repentance means a change of mind. Conversion means a change of conduct. I'm not the person I used to be. And you ought to know that too. You're not the person you used to be. The wonder of his power. Oh, the wonder of his power. They're getting ready to come and sing. I was down in the mountains preaching about a month ago. When I was down in the mountains preaching, there was a lady She's got a lot of physical ailments. I think she told my wife and I she's had 28 or 29 surgeries, had cancer when she was five years old. She's a grown woman, probably close to my age now, and it's a chore for her to get to church. And after church, <laughs> after church she said, me and mom gonna hang around over here we don't want to interrupt you in your time with the people. We'll stay as long as it takes. And I said, thank you, sis. Well, everyone else cleared out. And afterwards, she nudged one of the men in the church. She was just visiting that church. They were kind enough to go out in the foyer. They come in with a great big box and a great big crate. And she said, preacher, she said, uh, every week, every week, we're able to tune into the music that we love, yeah. get to hear preaching. Yeah. And she said, I told mom, mom, he's God's man and we ought to give him something. Oh, yeah. And yeah. she said, we're poor people God. and we don't have any money to give. She said, I'm so sorry. 
She said, but I said, Jesus, I don't have anything to give the preacher, and I want to give the preacher something. She said, now everything in here, we've done. And she said, I just had a feeling you'd like this. And she got out a quart and a half jar of grape juice, grape juice, fresh grape juice. She said, we don't have any quart and a half jars except this one. All the others are (laughs) quart. There's only one thing a diabetic likes better than pasta and ice cream, and that's grape juice. (laughs) And she looked to Candy and said, don't give him too much at once. I got in the car, I said, she's a sweet gal, and everything she said was true, but God ain't gonna kill me with that grape juice. I'm gonna drink all of it I want. (laughs) I'm here to tell you, what she had inside of her and what she gave meant more than any check that she ever could have written and anything she ever could have done because she has the love of God shed abroad in her heart by the power of the Holy Ghost. Who are we that God would do such a thing for us? Thank you. Thank you for tuning into the program. And especially today, if you are not prepared to meet the Lord, if you're not ready to die, if you don't have the assurance of your sins forgiven, I hope this day that you will ask the Lord Jesus Christ to forgive you of all of your sin, repenting before the Lord, coming to him saying, I want to change my life and go in a new direction. And I want peace and forgiveness that can only come through the sacrifice of the blood of Jesus Christ and the power of his resurrection. He'll make you a new creature in Christ. And then should God call us home and the time comes when they have to take us out somewhere and plant our body on a hillside, we can say during that time that don't worry about us. We now have within us the treasure inside the earthen vessel. Jesus Christ is in us. And because he is eternal life, we have eternal life through him. If you don't know him, call on him today. Thank you for tuning in to this same station each week. We appreciate it so much. Be sure to tell your friends and families, your loved ones about it as well, and have them tune in next week at the same time. The Calvin and Doris Hammonds Memorial Camp Meeting will be coming back to Huntington, West Virginia, September 6th and 7th at 7 p.m. Calvin Ray Evans and Brian Bear invite you to join them at the Christ Temple Church. They'll welcome the McCameys on Thursday and the Primitives on Friday. Christ Temple Church is located at 2400 Johnstown Road, right off I-64 in Huntington. Admission is free. Contact Evangelistic Outreach, 800-767-8713 or visit calvinevans.com. Thank you for joining us today on Evangelistic Outreach Ministries. The fields are white, already to harvest. For more information about this ministry, contact us at Evangelistic Outreach Ministries, 299 Ohio Avenue, New Boston, Ohio, 45662 or toll free at 800-767-8713. You can also visit us online at calvinevans.org.